This is an interesting data sufficiency question because the free info is giving us some information that's really just a distraction. And that's very unique, uh, very uncommon for data sufficiency. The fact that it's a rectangular office, the fact that each stain is three feet away from the nearest wall, those are facts that aren't really helpful when the question is asking, is this circular rug large enough to cover these two small circular stains? And the reason I say small circular stains is because the area of each stain is pi over 100, which means it's really quite tiny in the context of three feet from each wall. Now statement one gives us the exact area of the rug, but the problem is we don't know how close the two stains are to one another. The two stains could be practically touching one another, in which case certainly a nine pi area of a rug would cover the two stains, each of which is only pi over a hundred. So, so that's, I think it's very easy to get a yes. Uh, but on the other hand, since we don't even know the size of the office, the stains could be miles away from one another, in which case, no, this rug wouldn't be big enough to cover both stains. So statement one is not sufficient on its own and we should eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So A and D are gone and we're down to B, C or E. Now statement two does give us an upper limit for how far apart the two stains are, but now we've lost the information about the size of the rug. So without knowing anything about the size of the rug, giving us an upper limit in the distance between the stains is not sufficient. The rug could be really tiny, the rug could be the size of the entire office, we just don't know. So statement two is also not sufficient on its own, and we should eliminate answer choice B. Now, when we combine both statements, we do have to do a little bit of math just to confirm because we have an inequality. All right, if, if we had two equations, we could stop here. If we knew exactly how far apart the two stains are, and we knew exactly how big the rug is, then we don't need to do any math, right? We, we have all of the information we could possibly want, and obviously one could answer the question if one wanted to, given all of the information. But in this case, we don't have the exact distance between the stains, we just have an upper limit for that distance. So we do have to do a bit of math just to confirm that within that range of possibilities between on the one extreme, the stains touching each other, and in the other extreme, the stains, the centers of the stains being 3.99999 feet away from one another. Uh, within that range, is it possible to get both answers? Is it possible that the rug could cover both stains, but also might not be large enough to cover both stains? So how do we check that? Well, this is a circle, right? The, the rug itself is a circle, and we can make an inference there that the radius of the rug is three feet because the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared and so you can extrapolate from that and find that the radius of the rug is three feet. Now that makes the diameter of the rug six feet and we know that the stains are less than four feet apart, that's the centers of the stains, but we also know the stains are really tiny. So I don't think there's any need to compute the exact total possible distance between one end of one stain to the other end of the other stain, given that we see that these numbers are so small, right? We can say, look, even with an excess of a radius on each side, we're still going to be way under the six feet diameter of the rug, and therefore we're going to get a definitive yes, and I would pick answer choice C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.